Let's get straight to the latest overnight developments in that story. ABC's Ron Claiborne starts us off from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, where he's at the high school where this all unfolded yesterday. Good morning, Ron. Hey, good morning, Amy. And that chilling attack almost exactly 24 hours ago, investigators say this morning that they know what happened. The, the uh, mayhem, methodical mayhem over the course of about 15 minutes, the heroic actions of students and teachers. But what they do not know is why. It was just after 7 a.m. The bell hadn't even rung yet at Franklin Regional High School near Pittsburgh when suddenly... I don't know what I got going on down at school here, but I need some units right here ASAP. Sophomore Alex Reibel, seen in this yearbook photo with some of his classmates, allegedly goes on a rampage, dressed in black and toting two 8 to 10 inch kitchen knives. By 7.09, authorities are on the alert. We need ambulances here as soon as possible. Witnesses described a shocking scene of blood and terror as the suspect makes his way from the science area toward the front of the building, stabbing students at random all the time, not saying one word. I saw another kid get sliced in the face and as soon as he got, I saw the blood everywhere, I just ran to the office and said someone's getting stabbed. My best friend, he stepped in front of me and in the meantime, he got stabbed in the back, protecting me. You couldn't step a single place without pretty much stepping in blood. One quick thinking teenager, Nate Simeo, who posted this photo on Instagram, pulled the fire alarm. Nate stepped right in front of us and completely took the hit for us. And it's just so unreal how he just like, his instinct was just to jump in front of me and Lindsay. Something the school trained to do in an emergency. Hearing it, students spilled out of the school to safety. By 7.15, the ordeal comes to a dramatic end. Ian Griffith says he saw Rybel stab a campus security officer before the school's assistant principal, Sam King, seen in this yearbook photo with other faculty, took him down. Mr. King charged at him and tackled him, and I was right behind him and jumped on both of them. In the end, 21 students and that school security officer were either slashed or stabbed. We're advised that one of the victims or two of the victims are still pretty critical. Rybel also treated for minor injuries. He was still wearing his hospital gown after 6.30 p.m. when he's arraigned, charged as an adult with four counts of attempted criminal homicide, 21 counts of aggravated assault, and a single count of carrying a weapon on school property. Ten people were hospitalized uh, overnight, four of them still in critical condition. We just learned uh, minutes ago that one of them went back into surgery about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock this morning. And as for that suspect, the police say he is not saying anything, George, at this time.